Okay, everybody, this week we've seen some insane footage coming from the Republic of Ireland. Over the last few days, Irish patriots have been protesting against mass migration in defence of people in Ireland, in defence of national security. But it's not a new thing because they have been doing this for months and months. But the last few days, it escalated. The police and the guards in Ireland decided to provoke, decided to go crazy, and we have talked about this, and they started to target the protesters, right? They chased them. They went house to house to find them, like it's some sort of Soviet Union situation. But today, people in Ireland decided not to back down. They decided to come out in bigger numbers, but in a peaceful way to prove a point. That they're not only they're not giving up, but that the whole movement is supposed to be peaceful, but it's supposed to be robust. It's supposed to be standing up for values in Ireland and for ordinary people. To be safe, because mass migration and primarily illegal migration, but let alone legal as well, is causing trouble. Especially when it comes to smaller towns and villages, there's a government policy, same problem here in the UK, that they are sending in big groups migrants and allocating them in certain towns and villages. Now, they already have smaller populations. Imagine what will happen. You're not vetting their backgrounds of these illegal migrants. You don't know who they are, and you're sending them to all these small areas with all these schools, and all these schoolgirls going around, and every single time crime goes up, and you wonder why that happens. Let's go to the video that we have. Ireland has risen. It's official. Now, I know the Kulak protest was absolutely monstrous, but look at the size of this. This is incredible, folks. At a rough estimate, I'd say easily close to 3,000 here, easily. I'll stay with this until the very end, the tail end, and I'll give you this, an idea of the scale of the protest here. This is not, there's Philly from TikTok, you can see him in the middle there. And it's still going, look at this. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> there we go, I think that's the back end of it over there now. The last few stragglers right at the back end. And I'm going to sprint to the front of the crowd again. Because we're going to stare down the beady eyes of Vanguardia Shea again. Now, there are a couple of points to be mentioned. If you listen to the mainstream media and the establishment and the loud minority who come on the streets every Saturday, for example, in London and other places, flying the f flag of Palestine, which is basically the Jordanian flag with a little bit modified, they also fly the flag of Ireland and South Africa, right? How many times have I been trying on 2CTV to challenge this narrative, and the media doesn't like it, that just because a few communists and treasonous actual traitors, basically, from Ireland, who have always been back in the wrong side throughout history, just because they are using the flag of Ireland does not mean it represents everybody in the Republic of Ireland. Same applies to South Africa. The ANC government does not represent everybody in South Africa. But you, now you can see these people who are sick and tired of that narrative as well. Second point. This video, these videos I'm showing, I'm going to show you another clip as well before we go, proves, and they did this on purpose today, these protesters, to come out, peaceful march, to show the strength and to show the numbers and to prove that the reaction from the Irish government and the police and the security forces in general was a little bit of an overreaction because these people are peaceful, but if you attack them, they will fight back. They will stand up for their values and their families. It was not these people who started any sort of violence over the last few days. The police wanted it to happen. The media wanted it to happen. They provoked and they filmed those videos and they showed it to the world. This is the true spirit of the Republic of Ireland.